Hey everybody, welcome back to Teal House Farm. It is a nasty rainy day here. In fact, it's been kind of nasty weather for several days, which has made it hard to get outside to finish some of our projects. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you the five big projects that we are working on this spring and going to be bringing to you. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started and see the five farm projects that we have going on. We are going to plant a new strawberry bed this year, but we're going to do it a little differently. If you see that area there where the hand tiller is, this is the bed I've dug up. We're going to put down landscape fabric and plant directly into the landscape fabric, just cutting little holes to plant the strawberry crowns, hoping that it'll really help with weed control. We had a strawberry bed two years ago that the goats actually got into and destroyed but it was really hard to maintain. It was so much weeding and I'm hoping this will help make it go a little bit better for us. A new opportunity to start over. I found these kind of on a whim while I was at Sam's Club and I thought these would be perfect. So we have just a more traditional red strawberry and then I saw these white strawberries. They're called a pine berry, I think. Maybe. Yes, they're considered a pine berry. So they're supposed to taste like a cross between a strawberry and a pineapple. And to plant them together for best pollination, we'll make a video for you and we'll keep you updated as to how that's going. We have also incubated eggs for the first time. And so they're in the incubator now. And fingers crossed that it works. But it's definitely been a learning experience about how to keep the temperature and the humidity where it's supposed to be. Our chickies are doing great and this heating plate versus using a light is also working very well. Sam made a video about that. I'll link it up here. Uh, I like this much better, especially with the brooder inside the house and the little kids always like to come look at the chickens. I don't have to worry about them burning themselves on here because this isn't hot at all up here. The heat is all underneath. And those lights, they always just hang, those lights always just hang over the side and they're very easy for the kids to reach and they're hot all around. So I like this a lot better. We also did a whole lot of wood chopping trying to get our leftover lots from this year split and stacked so they can start drying out from next year. Our goats are just doing their goat thing this winter over here by the barn. This turbo wire is still working so well. I don't think we have had any escapes this winter. We had one in the fall, but nobody's tried getting out this winter and this paddock isn't that big, so I know they're probably a little bit bored. Hey buddy, just chilling. So, after trying and failing for a couple years with different kinds of fencing, we can definitively highly recommend this turbo wire for goats. Um, with spring coming, we actually have a second paddock and we can go ahead and we'll move the goats. I believe Sam wants to get two more, um, so each of them have a buddy and we can split them up as well. And he is planning on fencing in the majority of our large field as well with the turbo wire, which will really give us the ability to rotate the goats. But right now, with it being winter, especially with as cold as it was last month, they're just staying nice and cozy in the barn and they have a little bit of area out here, lots of hay, and they've had a very happy and healthy winter. And of course behind me is the container garden. I have everything I need to plant. Potatoes and strawberries are ready to plant if it would just stop raining long enough to do it. And I'm really excited to show you a technique for planting in tires. Um, 
I just think it's such a cool and economical way to plant um, because you get the benefit of a pot slash raised bed, but it's free, right? Tires are expensive to recycle anyway, so why not reuse them for your garden? Our spicy hot mustard greens have sprouted. Our cabbage transplants that we did in the toilet paper tube are doing well. We have radish sprouts, our carrots. In the back there I got some spinach and my onions. My onions that I started from seed and my onions that I started from seed are also doing well. They need some water, we'll get that in a minute. 